Alrighty, welcome back ladies and gentlemen. It is Laughing Games here. I'm back with another StarCraft 2 1 versus 1 bot AI cast. We have got ourselves what should be a good one here today as it's two very exciting to watch bots. It is Wicked Bot taking on Shark Bot. So a TVP, but more importantly, bot versus bot match here on the map Ley Lines. Uh, uh, these are all custom bot maps, which is how the latest patch, well, how the patch that the bots are on is implemented. For those of you that don't know, uh, through the StarCraft II map editor is very powerful. And due to bugs with... I believe it was like desyncing issues and that kind of thing in the latest version of StarCraft 2 uh, using the bot API that basically the bots technically have to stay on the old version of the game, but the updates can be pushed through on the current maps, which is very cool. And we're lucky there's lots of talented people who put those changes through so we can still get updates and patches and that kind of thing. But yes, we have got Sharkbot going for a gateway into Nexus. I thought it was going to be a cyber core. Then I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll build a Nexus. Uh, double pylon prior to that, though. And then we've got Wickedbot just going for what looks like a Reaper Expand, letting us know Reaper Expand 2113 CC. And so, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, as this one heats up, make sure to go ahead, click that like button if you haven't all already. Leave a comment down below saying more bots if you want to see more of these bot matches. And subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, you can also join the Discord, which is linked down below. That's a great way to stay involved in the community if there's tournament announcements, that kind of thing. I throw out, throw out the odd ping. I, I, I'm pretty, pretty restrained when it comes to using like at everyone's in the discord or something like that unless it's like literally like a live event or stream or something like that uh which is a pretty rare event uh, because yeah i know i know it bothers me when <laughs> when i join a discord and then i start getting pings i'm like oh man and i promptly disable all notifications but yes we have got this reaper killing off a probe for starters uh, Twilight Council is getting thrown up by Sharkbot, or at least it wants to, but that Reaper is basically zoning out the probe that wants to build that, so incredibly effective Reaper in the early game for a Wicked Bot. However, it loses points upon its death. Two probes is very nice at the start of the game, though, and it did actually spot that Twilight Council, too. So, yeah, not a, not a bad opening for Wicked Bot. I think if you asked most Terrans if they could kill two probes in the early game with the Reaper and the Reaper dies, they'd be like, eh, probably. Uh, usually, it, uh, some players do prefer just to really baby it to try and get that information. But the Twilight Council's been seen. And yes, let's see here, as Wickedbot has gone for two bunkers, notably in this game. One on the low ground, one on the high ground, so just playing it extra safe. I guess having that as a potential fallback point, Marine jumps into the bunker as the hallucinated Phoenix flies on over. Sharkbot making good use of that, getting all that information. And yeah, there's really uh, not much Terran can do to try and shut down those hallucinated Phoenix. Uh, so Sharkbot has got all the information that it needs, basically. But knowing is only half the battle. And so Sharkbot, it is going for charge. It's got multiple stalkers on the way, an extra gateway going on up. And I'm excited to see how it plays this one out. Sharkbot did have a bit of a bug in which it was over teching in some of the previous videos I did, but I imagine that's probably fixed in this game. We're also getting some nice safety shield batteries for Sharkbot, which kind of highlights the, the bot's authors just... Uh, preference for a more defensive style generally uh, batteries and static defense in these bot matches are very good catch-alls because it's incredibly difficult to program a bot that defends properly 100 percent of the time but if you build batteries or cannons that kind of thing it can defend like 90 percent of the harassment so you uh you can save yourself a lot of headaches by doing that which is why the terrans like their bunkers and then we have got Stimpak on the way now for a Wicked Bot. 
Uh, looking at this build from Wickedbot, it would actually be very susceptible to DTs, I might add, in this scenario. It is dropping its mules as soon as it gets the energy. And uh, so, yeah, that is just something to keep in mind. Who knows, maybe based off what it scouted, but it did see a Twilight Council. So Sharkbot technically could be going DTs right now, and Wickedbot would just be screwed. Um, so maybe that's something to keep in mind for tournaments in the future with this build. Uh, but for now, Wickedbot has built up to that nice, powerful bio ball. Sharkbot does have charge, which is a way to deflect these early game Terran attacks. Depending on the micro, that kind of thing, Sharkbot does have a lot of stalkers on the high ground too, as the bio for Wickedbot promptly turns around upon seeing that. There's no combat shield on these Marines, so heading on home is probably the wise decision. Some Terrans might have tried to skirmish there, but Wickedbot just playing it nice and safe turns around we do have quite a mineral bank right now floating for the red terran bot which is a little bit strange uh not sure what it's saving all that money for it's also a little bit bottlenecked by gas it would seem here too as there is yeah still no combat shield started up i guess it's spending all its gas on marauders on medivacs and yeah just floating a ton of minerals here so we might be having a bit of a bugged wicked bot game as it has yet to throw up any extra racks it's just producing off of these two bases. We do get a bunch of money being spent all at once as Wickedbot promptly throws up four command centers and two barracks. So, okay, apparently the Red Terran bot is now waking up. It's, it's known for building too many command centers. Uh, and so we're already getting a little bit of a goofy bot game. Wickedbot loads up into its medivax, boosts on out of there. Uh, so the, the load up was a little bit questionable, but it doesn't get punished. There's no blink for Sharkbot. Sharkbot chooses a poor expansion location as is like, hey, a nexus no not a nexus hallucinated archon does go down wicked bot still just doing some fancy footwork with these bio units looks like both bots are really respecting each other shark bot though does pick off a medivac as wicked bot loads into its medivacs but boost is on cooldown so that really slows them down the bio is now unloading in the center of the map again we do finally have combat shield on the way and the extra production getting up for wicked bot so that blip economically where it floated all those minerals was not good, but at least it is spending its money. We sometimes get bugs like that in bot games in which they sort of hang up and they're stuck waiting for a condition or something like that. Then all of a sudden the condition is met and they are released in a sense. Or sometimes that condition just never gets met and they just bug out for the entire game. So I'm glad to see Wicked Bot is just hitting its stride macro-wise. We do have two stalkers kind of delaying some command center landing as Wickedbot has got plenty of them to float on over. Funnily enough, these two are like, oh, uh, one of them lands. And now the other ones are floating off to other bases. We're going to be getting bunkers built at those expansions to secure them too. Wickedbot, though, notably still doesn't have any... It still does not have any eBays up, so no 1-1 one, one on the way. Meanwhile, Sharkbot has got 1-1 one, one researching. It's got Psionic Storm, and this could uh, this could unlock one of the best strengths of Sharkbot. Unfortunately, that Prism does go down, because I was just going to talk about how good it is with Prism's Anti-Templar. We do have two Medivacs kind of getting sectioned off. It wouldn't be the worst thing in the world for Wickedbot if they unloaded inside the main base. They are going to try and unload at the natural. That's not going to work, but they could unload here, although there's an Immortal waiting for them. It doesn't have one one done just yet but the over microing of the medivacs i think is hurting wicked bot a little bit here we do have some units poking towards the north overall army supplies are fairly close at this point as wicked bot is just pumping out lots of bio units now we'll see does it have any extra orbital commands going yet no it saturated these bases but it has yet to turn them into orbitals probably just spending its money too quickly before it does that and so we'll see if it eventually reaches there, as it does still have yet to fire up the eBay. So Wickedbot may be bugging out a little bit here. We do have feedback and Psystorm going down for Sharkbot. The Medivacs are still jumping around. One thing that I think could really give Wickedbot an edge in this game is if it does go into its ghosts. It is a very good bot when it comes to utilizing ghosts, but for now, it is still just spending its money as quickly as it can. Uh, macro macro management in for StarCraft 2 bots is very difficult. We can kind of see Wicked Bot just never reaching that 150 mineral mark to build up its 
to start up its orbital commands, although it did just briefly there, so maybe we're going to start seeing it. We do get that Ghost Academy on the way now. Two Ebays started on up very, very late, but better late than never. There is also a Dark Shrine on the way for Wicked Bot, which then promptly says Detection, which is interesting. I don't, I don't know if it scouted it. It didn't scout it, but it's like, yeah, Detection. We're 10 minutes into the game. Let's get up some... Detection. I'm actually quite curious what prompted that. Maybe it was seeing an observer or something, although they're all hanging out here. So it's it's a bit bit of an odd timing for that, but I'm glad to see that WickedBot is making that investment. We are actually getting planetaries at these exterior bases, so it wasn't just waiting to start up orbitals. It was waiting to start up planetaries, which required the eBays. I think the planetaries are a great decision against a primarily sort of ground based Protoss composition, as planetaries can be repaired pretty effectively against ground Protoss units. Now, they can't exactly be repaired if all the SCVs are dead from Psystorm, though, so so we cannot get Ghost quick enough for Wicked Bot. The Ghost Academy is done. We're getting up a Fusion Core 1-1 one, one on the way. And there's plenty of bases for the Terran. But man, oh man, this is a lot of bio against some High Templar. There's one Storm. Wicked Bot kind of avoiding it, which is good to see. Vikings zoning out the Prism can definitely be worth their weight in gold. But we really need to see some Ghosts. The problem is Wicked Bot is maxed out right now. So until it takes some unit losses, we will not be getting that. A Psy Storm might actually help it out a little bit if it does get some ghosts up but there is enough medivacs to heal that up i believe a cap of 10 is how many wicked bot builds some units are starting to perish there we go the first ghosts are going on up feedbacks on mass size storms going down this is not the fight that wicked ball wants to take it's zero zero bio against two two protoss however if it can maybe bait these units forward and kite them out we see just how passive both of these bots are but the size storm feedback combo from shark bot is just ridiculous as all the Medivacs have pretty much been feedbacked at this point. The Psy Storm has really amped up the damage, and so Wicked Bot definitely needs to take a step back. It gets an Archon for the skirmishing, but this is a very interesting interaction between these two bots. It's not one... It's an interaction that you think we'd get more of in StarCraft II bot games, because both bots are being very passive here, just kind of like poking a little bit, but they're both just afraid or waiting on something before they take the big fight. I get the feeling that SharkBot really prioritizes the high ground, which is incredibly cool, but man, oh man, more Psy Storms going off as WickedBot is just getting butchered trying to push up this ramp. Eventually, there will be no more High Templar energy as the ghosts will complicate life, but look at that, the feedback from SharkBot is instant on the ghosts as the Terran bio is once again having to kite back. Sharkbot is actually going forward right now. There's one one done so the upgrade discrepancy isn't as big. We're having more ghosts be produced. There's lots of bio out. There's some snipes getting queued on up and most of the Psy Storm is gone so we're going to see how well the bio can handle things now that that AoE has been removed. There is disruptors and immortals coming in prisms. A turret helping zone them out though and so that's not going to have too much success. The planetaries are nice anchor points for a wicked bot and so the trades do improve for the Terran drastically as Sharkbot loses its AoE. The Protoss bot behind this though is heading into its plus three attack. It's getting shields, it's getting Tempest and Carriers added into the mix now as some Psy Storm does get shown again. So that actually punishes Wicked Bot pretty hard. The Terran has got a nice economy. It's got lots of orbital commands. It will need more bases, though. And it's got to get some of those workers back to mining there. But for now, Wicked Bot is is staying alive. That's basically all we can say. It's trying to poke out against the static defense of Sharkbot. It's been a while since we've seen the incredible Sharkbot just turtle cannon battery shenanigans. For now, though, the Protoss is being pushed a little bit, but Wicked Bot seems a, a tiny bit overextended here. Um, as there's Tempest, there's so much static defense it could never get through. It looks like Sharkbot may have a stuck Immortal and a High Templar in its mineral line here, which for just further highlights that these Sim Cities are quite difficult to manage. The Terran bot is constantly fighting here. It's a situation where it probably wants to sit back and wait till max out, but Programming that into bots is very difficult as it can have a lot of unintended side effects such as bots waiting for an, a supply amount that they just realistically won't ever hit. We do have ghosts or pardon me Dark Templar in the mix now for shark bots so that could 
have some success depending on whether Wicked Bot scans or not as the Protoss bot is looking to push on in. Once again, there is Ghost EMPs going down, but so are big disruptor shots. Psystorm disruptors as Sharkbot just continues to bring the pain here to Wicked Bot. Its production isn't enough to maintain this high rate of losses, and it is a very high rate of losses, trading at worse than 2 to 1, which is not great it's not insurmountable in bot games to overcome poor trades but wicked bot has yet to take any more bases i believe it i assume it just takes them as it needs them or something like that and oh here's part of the problem we have got more stuck units in this game i think there's units stuck on both sides no shark bot actually freed those units which is very cool to see i'm guessing it used the prism to do that but yeah that really hurts wicked bot it might be messing with its pathing trying to control units that aren't there it's getting gobbled up by dt's revelations going down and yeah, no scans being used by the Terran either. So unless we get some of these orbitals lifted off, that's going to be a solid... Yeah, that's quite a few Marines that are stuck in there. And Wickedbot is just constantly being bullied here by Sharkbot. Oracle's flying around. We see Sharkbot cruising at a ridiculously high APM, controlling all its spellcasters at once. It is such a great example of what you can do with a StarCraft II bot. Just controlling... Tons of Disruptors, Templar, Prisms, that kind of thing. Better than humans can, as we do have Vikings coming in for Wicked Bot, but they're just outgunned. And I think we've got our victor here in this one, ladies and gentlemen. Looks like the Marines will be freed, thanks to Sharkbot. Freed right into a Disruptor shot. That's, uh, that's not great. As... Yeah, Wicked Bot does falter here a little bit. We might have to watch a rematch between these two bots, as there was a, there was the odd blip here and there for Wicked Bot. Units getting stuck really just was the nail in the coffin. But then, uh, yeah, just the trades weren't weren't good enough, and then the base count wasn't good enough either. So well done to Shark Bot. Glad to see it winning a game and seemingly being back in pretty darn good form. Um, as it 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 is a very good bot. So I'm excited to see how it how it does moving forward. It's been getting some updates as Wicked Bot. Yeah, just uh, it. I'm not exactly. Sh I I guess I'd just like to see the game again where it doesn't have that hang up because yeah, like the delayed combat shield from the lack of gas, the later expansions than they should have been, and all the later production. And pro maybe the later upgrades more so than anything really hurt it. Because it did have a bit of a strange composition, like being maxed out on bio before it goes into ghosts. I'm not sure we've seen it do that before. Uh, so maybe that tra transition could have been a bit sooner. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this one, click that like button. I'll leave a comment down below saying more bots if you want to see more of these bot matches. As it's goofy, but it does help us with the YouTube bot, which is another algorithm. So your comments are appreciated. I hope you've all been having a wonderful holidays. Uh, I did want to give like a slight update. There may be a couple days without videos. I'm going to he be heading home to visit some family uh, tomorrow. So, Although I'll be there by the time this is uploaded. So I won't be recording. But I'll try and get a few videos done before I do go. So there may be, may be a couple days without videos here and there. Uh, I've definitely been procrastinating more over, these, uh, over this Christmas break. Um, playing lots of games, honestly. All, all the old classics. I think I've played played a little bit of Rome. Lots and lots of Civ. Um, Heroes of Might and Magic. I've just been playing a little bit of. And then spending time with family. So, yeah. That is it for this one. Wicked Bot trying to come back to life. It's got lots of SCVs being built. Uh, I am a little bit interested in why it never tried to get one of these command centers to another location. Oracle doing work for Sharkbot, finding some exposed SCVs. Wickedbot attempting to repair them, which is cool, but the Oracle is, is still sharking around. Not sure if I said it or not, but uh, yeah, consider becoming a YouTube member if you do want to support these these daily casts and big thanks to everyone who does that as we just wait for these buildings to be cleaned on up GG thanks for watching